Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Students, welcome back to lecture number nine of macroeconomic course. पहले की तरह चंद मिनट के लिए we'll recap the previous lecture, what we have learned in the previous class, and then we'll proceed for today's lecture. You know that we we studied pre in previous class about the solo growth model, which is one of the pioneer model of economic growth. All recent economic growth theories are model, and they compare their models, their theories with the original or the basic model of economic growth, which is a solo model. Uh, so, what we have learned in the previous class, uh, we especially we introduced uh, technological progress, technical progress in the solo model equation, and then the equation becomes that uh, k is equal to S F. Uh, S F K Y minus N plus G, uh, G plus delta into K. So we had ever added a component of G, the rate of uh, technical progress, and we have seen that and by introducing technical progress, uh, how it affects the growth rate of capital, how it affects the growth rate of per capita income in the country, and how it affects the standard of living of the countries. Now, key results that we have seen, steady state growth rate of income per person depends solely on the exogenous rate of technical progress. Moreover, we have also learned that the U.S. has much less capital than the golden rule steady state. So with the example, we have also proved last time, we have proved that the United States has very capital hai, kam hai, which is required at the golden rule steady state. And we have also learned uh, how we can, we have discussed the policies uh, of the government, different policies of the government, which the governments can adopt in order to increase capital in order to increase per capita income in the countries. So we have discussed the ways to increase the saving rate in the countries or in the economies. And we said that this can be done in a number of ways, like you can increase public savings by reducing budget deficit. Uh, you can in do in increase private saving by increasing, uh, by providing tax incentive for private uh, savers, uh, private savings. Uh, we've also seen in the previous lecture productivity slowdown and new economy. We have compared different growth rate of per capita output of different developed countries in different years, and then we have introduced technology, technical progress in the production process, and we have seen quite a lot of difference between the growth rate of the different countries uh, in that particular regime. In the early 1970s, productive growth fell in the U.S. and other countries. Mid-90s, productive growth increases probably because of the advances in information technology. So we can see that information technology or technical progress plays a very important role in the growth of economies or the growth of per capita income or the growth of GDP per capita. After that, we have discussed different empirical studies and uh, we have uh, said that and we that solo model explains the balanced growth and there is a conditional convergence uh, in case of solo model uh, we've also seen the cross there is a variation in the standard of living across the countries and these differences are due to capital accumulation and in production efficiency so this was uh, the brief uh, recap of the previous lecture so we have ended uh, our previous class especially class may have ग्रोथ फिर अपनी डिस्कशन मुकम्मल कर ली थी कंप्लीट कर ली थी और उस कॉन्टेक्स में हमने बात की द बेसिक मॉडल ऑफ इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ व्हिच इज द सोलो ग्रोथ मॉडल नाउ विल स्टार्ट आवर टुडेस लेक्चर लेक्चर नंबर 9 इसमें हम बात करेंगे अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट की एंड विल टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट हाउ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज मेजर्ड व्हाट आर द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट हाउ वी कैन रिड्यूस द अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट इन द इकॉनमी सो विल टॉक अबाउट द अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इन द पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर सो द आउटलाइन ऑफ आवर टुडेस लेक्चर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल ट्राई टू डिफाइन 
what is natural rate of unemployment uh, in the economy and then why is there unemployment why economies have unemployment in uh, economies have unemployment uh, in their uh, in, in their countries and then we will talk about uh, the reasons of unemployment that is the job search and wage agility these are the two particular reasons uh, which keeps uh, certain labor to remain unemployment so this is the sequence of the today's lecture so in all of the lecture uh, we'll focus on unemployment issues in of, of unemployment measurement of unemployment the reasons of unemployment and the types of unemployment so we'll talk about all these issues so we start our today's lecture uh, so first of all as I said that we would like to define the natural rate of unemployment and uh, now it is the average rate of unemployment around which the economy fluctuate एक ऐसा रेट होता है नेचुरल रेट ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज दैट रेट जिसके जो इकोनॉमी जिसके इर्द गिर्द घूमती रहती है एंड दैट ऑलवेज प्रिवेल्स इन द इकोनॉमी दैट इज द लेवल ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट दैट इज द नंबर ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयड पीपल इन द सोसाइटी इन द इकोनॉमी दैट रिमेन्स अनएम्प्लॉयड अनएम्प्लॉयड रहते हैं और इकोनॉमी उसके इर्द गिर्द रिवॉल्व करती रहती है इन केस ऑफ रिसेशन जब होता है तो नेचुरल रेट जो है एक्चुअल रेट ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट राइज इज अब द नेचुरल रेट राइट तो इट वेरीज ऑफ कोर्स समटाइम देर रिसेशन इन द इकानमी समटाइम देर गूम्स इन द इकानमी तो जब रिसेशन होता है जो एक्चुअल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट है दैट इज डिफरेंट फ्राम द नेचुरल रेट और रिसेशन के हालात में एक्चुअल रेट इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर दैन द नेचुरल रेट ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इन केस ऑफ बूम जब हम बूम की बात करते हैं जब इकानमी ग्लो ग्रो कर रही थी इकानमी फ्रेश कर रही होती है ग्रोथ रेट में इजाफा हो रहा होता है स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग बेहतर होती है पर कैपिटल इनकम में इजाफा होता है तो दैट सिचुएशन इज नोन एज बूम सो इकानमी इज ग्रोइंग इन ऑल एस्पेक्ट स्टेट बैलेंस पॉजिटिव जा रहा होता है बजट सरप्लस होता है इकानमी इज मूविंग इन पॉजिटिव डायरेक्शन in that case uh, when uh, there is boom in the economy or in economies in that case actual rate of unemployment is less or falls below the natural rate so natural rate is that rate around which the economy fluctuates all the year right so that prevails in the economy sometime actual rate is uh, above the natural rate and that is only possible when there is recession economy is going down is is slowing down uh, growth mein kami waqi hoti hai population mein izafa hota hai uh, production mein kami waqi hoti hai per capita income kam hoti hai investment mein kami hoti hai budget deficit mein chala jata hai to when there is a boom and there are different conditions of boom so jab boom aata hai sorry recession aata hai economy mein to in that case recession in case of recession the actual unemployment rate is less than Uh, actual unemployment is above than the natural rate in case of boom actual rate of unemployment in the economy is great is is less than is falls below the natural rate now we'll try to introduce the notations uh, uh, that we're going to use in this lecture or uh, in the subsequent lectures first model of natural rate notations like l is used the number of workers in the labor force तो एल जब हम यूज करेंगे तो इसका मतलब है वो तमाम लोग वो तमाम वर्कर्स जो कि लेबर फोर्स में उसको हम एल से डिनोट करेंगे ई इज द नंबर ऑफ एम्प्लॉयड वर्कर्स यू इज द नंबर ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयड वर्कर्स एंड पीपल हु आर अनएम्प्लॉयड इज नोट बाय यू एंड इफ वी डिवाइड यू बाय एल द अनएम्प्लॉयड बाय an unemployed number with the total labor force so this is for this gave us us the unemployment rate in the economy in the countries so these are the uh, four notations that we are going to use in this lecture or in the subsequent lectures also l labor ke liye use karenge total labor force available in the country in the economy e is for the employed labor force u is used for the unemployed labor force and u over l is used for the unemployment rate now before proceed before we proceed further uh, we have to assume few things uh, we have to uh, assume uh, we have to develop or make some certain assumptions to proceed further in this uh, unemployment uh, issue uh, l 
we say that L is exogenously fixed, is given in the society and during any given month. S is a fraction of employed workers who get who, that become separated from their jobs. S, you have used karenge, is the fraction or the percentage of employed workers who get separated from their job. F, you have F is the fraction of unemployed persons workers that find job. So these are the assumptions that we'll uh, take and uh, use these assumptions in our uh, lecture. Now, S is the rate of job separation. So we can say that S is the rate of job separation. F is the rate of job finding. So both are exogenous. We have said that both are given. S, which is such people who job already working, but now they are separated. They are unemployed. So us ko hum S se denote karte hain. F are those people who were unemployed, bezosgar the, lekin unko nokri mil gayi. So it is the rate of job finding. Both of these variable are exogenous are given. As you know that we have already <coughs> discussed the difference between exogenous and endogenous model. Exo uh, variables, exogenous variables are those variables uh, for which the values are given are fixed. And for endogenous variable, उसकी definition ये है are those variable जिनकी uh, values हम model के अंदर से determine करते हैं. Now the transactions between employment and unemployment. Uh, how this cycle works? So on one side, if you look at the circle, on one side we have the employed labor force, on the other side we have unemployed workers. Now uh, S into E is the number of people who get who are employed. They get separated from the job, right? So it is the percentage or the proportion or the fraction of employed workers. Who are separated from the job, so so when they are separated, they will become unemployed, right? So then, certain number of unemployed people will get job, will find job in due course of of time. So, what F U is the fraction of people who are unemployed, who be rose but now they will get employed. So then, this 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 move to the employed. So this is the circle. This is the circle. This is the circle. This is the circle. This is the Okay, that is uh, the uh, the fraction of the people who who are separated. जो वो लोग जो unemployed हुए और एक fraction of people ऐसे हैं जो unemployed थे उनको नौकरी मिल गई तो this is the circle and this is the how the economy works in case of unemployment. कुछ लोग जो बेरोजगार होते हैं उनको रोजगार मिल जाता है उनको नौकरी मिल जाती है उनको काम मिल जाता है और कुछ ऐसे employed लोग जो के नौकरी पे होते हैं दे बिकम अनएम्प्लॉयड फॉर सर्टन टाइम कुछ अर्से के लिए बेरोजगार हो जाते हैं बाद में हम इसकी रीजन डिस्कस करेंगे कि वाई दी एम्प्लॉयड वर्कर्स बिकम अनएम्प्लॉयड अनएम्प्लॉयड फॉर सर्टन फॉर सर्टन पीरियड ऑफ कोर्स देर आर सम रीजन देर आर सम एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर दिस तो लेकिन ये दिस इज द हाउ इकोनॉमी वर्क दिस इज हाउ द नेचुरल रेट ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट प्रिवेल्स इन द इकानमी एक ये ऐसा रेट होता है बेरोजगारी का अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट का जो कि इकानमी में हर वक्त प्रिवेल करता है और इकानमी फ्लैक्चुएट करती है उसके इर्द गिर्द नाउ आई विल कंटिन्यू विद दिस वट इज द स्टेडी स्टेट ऑफ नेचुरल रेट ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट सो स्टेडी स्टेट कंडीशन इज दैट द लेबर मार्केट इज इज इन स्टेडी स्टेट आर लॉन्ग रन इक्म इफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट इज कॉन्स्टेंट द स्टेट Right? If unemployment is it constant means if the number of people who are separated from job is equal to the number of people who find their job, so they, if this is if these two forces, if these two factors are equal, to hum kehte hain the labor force ma, labor force is, market is in steady state. Labor for labor market is in steady state. Or uh, there is a long run equilibrium in the labor market. Or what condition kya hai? Ki S E it is the Number of employed persons who lose or leave their jobs is equal to number of uh, unemployed workers who find job, who get jobs. Right? If these two are equal, we can say that the labor market is in steady state. जितने लोगों को रोजगार मिला उतने लोग बेरोजगार हो गए. अगर ये fraction बराबर है, तो natural rate जो है वो constant रहेगा. Naturally, क्योंकि जैसा कि मैंने शुरू में बताया कि नेचुरल रेट ऐसा रेट होता है कि जो प्रवेल करता है इकानमी में जो हर वक्त रहता है 
اور ہم نے یہ کہا اگر بوم کی صورتحال ہوتی ہے تو ایکچوئل ریٹ جو ہے اس سے کم ہوتا ہے کم ہو جاتا ہے اور جب ریسیشنز کی صورتحال ہو تو ایکچوئل ریٹ اس سے زیادہ ہو جاتا ہے لیکن سٹیڈی سٹیٹ کنڈیشن کہاں ہوگی لیبر مارکیٹ میں وہ وہاں پہ ہوگی جہاں پہ آپ کا جو نمبر آف پیپل ہو بیکیم ان امپلائیڈ از ایکوائر نمبر آف پیپل ہو فائن جاب رائٹ سو ایس ایس ای از ایکوائر ٹو ایف یو کے برابر جب آ جاتا ہے تو وی کن سی دیٹ دا لیبر مارکیٹ از ان سٹیڈی سٹیٹ اور سٹیڈی سٹیٹ ایسی کنڈیشن ہوتی ہے جہاں پہ نیچرل ریٹ از کانسٹنٹ Now we will try to solve this equation for unemployment rate to find the unemployment rate and uh, we can uh, proceed with this further. Uh, F u is equal to S e. So if as we know that e, e you have employed labor force is, is the total labor force minus unemployed. If total labor force means you have unemployed, so you will get the employed labor force. So just substitute that value in place of e. L minus U. So if uh, E ki jaga rakh denge, uh, so we get F U is equal to S into L minus U. Now just multiply S, uh, ko under multiply kar den, S L minus S U. Now we can solve this equation for U, which is the unemployment rate. So we can have F plus S into U is equal to S L. If we further سمپلیفائی دس وی فائنلی گیٹ جو کہ باٹم میں اگر آپ دیکھیں سلائیڈ کی باٹم میں آپ کو نظر آ رہا ہے ان دس ریکٹینگل یو آور ایل is equal to ایس آور ایس پلاس ایف سو ان ایمپلائیمنٹ ریٹ یو آور ایل ایس وی نو دیٹ ایف وی ڈیوائیڈ ایم نمبر آف ان ایمپلائیڈ پرسنز بائی ایل سو وی ویل گیٹ دی ان ایمپلائیمنٹ ریٹ ویچ ایس ڈیوٹ بائی یو این دیٹ ایس ایکوال ٹو ایس آور ایس پلاس ایف نو وات ایس دیٹ ایس ایس دی نمبر آف جاب سپریٹڈ پیپل سپریٹڈ فرم جاب ایس پلاس ایف ایس دی کم ایس دی سم آف بوت سپریشن پلاس دی پیپل ہو فائن دی جاب سو ایف وی ڈیوائیڈ دیس ایس آور ایس پلاس ایف وی ویل گیٹ دی unemployment rate in the economy which is denoted by u so by simplifying this equation you can have the key s e or f u brother hey to is a job in natural rate constant or they are steady state condition if we solve this equation for you to up easily unemployment rate economy car nikas if you can find unemployment rate in the economy Now, example, we'll try to explain this uh, formula, this equation. Kaise uh, unemployment rate nikal sakte hain with the help of an example. Uh, each month, 1% of employed worker lose their job. So, we can say that uh, S is equal to 0.01. And if each month, 19% of unemployed workers find job, to F is equal to 0.19. Now find the natural rate of unemployment. So natural rate, as we know that the formula for natural rate of unemployment U over L is equal to S over S plus F, right? So we just substitute the values of S and F. We can find the natural rate of unemployment in the economy by with the help of this example. So 0.01 over 0.01 plus 0.19. 0.19 this is equal to 0.05 percent if we simplify this so we'll get 0.05 are the five percent so we can say that the natural rate of unemployment in the economy is five percent now what is the policy implication for this a policy that aims to reduce the natural rate of unemployment will succeed only if the government uh, of a country or economy if uh, they want to reduce unemployment natural rate of unemployment in the economy so what policy they can opt if they can only reduce unemployment if it lowers s and r increase s so either they have to decrease s the number of people who are getting who are separated from job jo log alada ho rahe hain jo berozgar ho rahe hain usko kam kiya jaye ya they increase f aise logon mein azafa kiya jaye jinko naukriyan zyada mil rahi ho zyada naukri milni chahiye to number of s f badhega to unemployment rate kam ho jayega so uh this is the policy implication for the economies for the countries uh, to to maintain or uh, to reduce the unemployment in the economy and how they can do that 
and there are two options available with them either they uh, reduce or lower s s is the number or the fraction of people who are who are getting separated from job usko kam kiya jaye ya f ko badhaya jaye f is the percentage or fraction of the people who are getting job or who are finding job and they were unemployed but they are getting job now based on the answers how the question arises how we measure unemployment rate what is the methodology to measure unemployment so uh, normally uh, in each country's questionnaire is developed and then survey is conducted uh, among the labor force and then uh, on the that basis uh, unemployment rate is measured so based on the survey question each adult is placed into one of the categories three categories so normally jo population hai normally jo labor force hai usko teen hisso mein divide kiya ja sakta hai wo log jo kaam karne ke kabil hain us age group mein hain us age bracket mein hain unko teen hisso mein jo adult population adult population ka matlab hai all those whose age is 16 plus राइट सो सिक्सटीन प्लस जितने भी लोग होते हैं किसी इकोनॉमी में किसी कंट्री में दे आर कंसीडर्ड इन द लेबर फोर्स दे आर पार्ट ऑफ द लेबर फोर्स अब नाउ दिस पीपल आर दिस एडल्ट पॉपुलेशन इज प्लेस इन टू वन ऑफ द कैटेगरीज वन कैटेगरी इज एम्प्लॉयड दो पीपल हु आर एम्प्लॉयड हु आर वर्किंग ऑलरेडी पेड जॉब एंड सम ऑफ दैम can be placed into the unemployed category these are those people those workers of the labor force who are neither working uh, who are not who are who are not working for some paid employment but they are unemployed uh, due to certain reason maybe they are looking for jobs uh, they are in the process of finding jobs right so they are unemployed this is the second category of the labor force third category is that and uh, not in the labor force no bureau of labor statistics or in pakistan is the a labor department so they consider a person an adult if he or she is over 16 years old so if somebody of uh, he or she is of 16 years old and above so he or she is considered an adult and he is considered in the labor force a person and now if we talk about employed who is employed a person is considered employed if he or she has spent most of the previous week working at a paid job to so maximum time usne apna pichle hafte mein jo paid job pe guzara ho to usko hum kehte hain he or she is the employed labor force or the employed worker a person is considered unemployed if he or she is temporarily layoff is looking for job or is waiting for start for the start of a new job so all these uh, kind of people are considered as unemployed and a person who is neither of these categories neither he is in the employed category neither he is in the unemployed category such as full time student homemaker or retiree is not in the labor force they are then considered not in the labor force so we can divide the people who are adult who are uh, adult kya hai ki jin ki age 16 saal se zyada hai wo workers wo labor wo log jin ki age 16 years se zyada hai they are considered as adult uh, an adult and they are considered they are the part of they can become the part of labor force aur isko hum teen hisson mein divide kar sakte hain unemployed unemployed and unemployed uh, not in the labor force employed log kon hote hain jinhone maximum time pichle hafte mein kisi paid job ke liye kaam kiya ho that those are considered employed unemployed kya, kya hai ki ye wo log hote hain jo ki temporarily lay off hain looking for job kar rahe hain they are waiting for starting new job all these persons uh, are known are considered as unemployed and who are not in the labor force dono categories jo wo log jo employed bhi nahi hai unemployed bhi nahi hai but they are uh, in the labor force are they so they are adult so they are in considered not in the labor force and these are those who people are student and they are retired homemaker and so on so they are considered not employed are not in the labor force now 
will continue the employment how employment is my labor force the labor force is the total number of workers including both employed and unemployed so if we add up the all employed labor force with the unemployed workers will get the labor force of the country the bls bureau of labor statistics define the labor force as the sum of employed and unemployed labor force uh, labor force in the country in the economy to agar aap jaise ek slide aapko nazar aa rahi hai to yahan pe humne koshish ki hai ke we have given the breakdown of the population ki population ko kis tarah mukhtalif categories mein taqseem kiya ja sakta hai if you look at this uh, box uh, the top upper box is employed uh, people who are 1 135.1 million uh, unemployed person with jo aapko pink color nazar aa raha hai uh, so it is only 6.7 million 70.1 million are those who are not in the labor, labor force ab ye kaun se log hain ye wo log hain jo ke uh, and either they are below than 16 or above 65 so they are either students uh, they are either uh, homemaker they are retirees so they are not working they are they are not uh, willing to work also so agar hum teeno ko jama kar lete hain categories ko employed ko unemployed ko or not in the labor force ko to will get the total adult population of the country and that will become 211.9 million and how we calculate the labor force from this uh, diagram uh, if we add up the employed with unemployed labor force we get the total labor force of the economy and in that case here in this example if we add up 135.1 million with 6.7 million unemployed workers so we will get the employ uh, total labor force of the economy uh, which are available are willing to work which are working is 141.8 million is the total labor force in this example so this is how we can divide the population into different categories so three categories hain jo ke jisme hum population ko divide kar sakte hain one is the employed category the other is unemployed category third is the not in labor force ab teeno ko jama kar le you will get the adult population of the economy of the country and if you sum up add up the employed labor force with the unemployed workers and uh, in dono ko agar jama karenge to you will get the labor force of the economy uh, yahan pe is example mein jo aapko nazar aa rahi hai employed labor force is uh, 135.1 million and unemployed is 6.7 million in dono ko agar hum jama kare to hamare paas kya aa jayega will get 141.8 million which is the labor force of the economy Uh, unemployment rate is as we know that is calculated as the percentage of the labor force that is basically unemployed so we can uh, write the formula of unemployment rate is equal to number of unemployed workers in the economy divided by labor force into 100 so this will give us the actual rate of unemployment in the economy so this formula ko use karke aap unemployment rate ko measure कर सकते हैं अगर इसी प्रीवियस एग्जांपल की बात करें सो नंबर ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयड इज 6.7 मिलियन ओवर लेबर फोर्स इज 141.8 मिलियन इनटू 100 सो दिस विल गिव यू द अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट इन द इकॉनमी द लेबर फोर्स पार्टिसिपेशन दिस इज अदर टर्म व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑफ हाउ मच इज द पार्टिसिपेशन रेट ऑफ द लेबर फोर्स इन द इकॉनमी एंड दिस कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड एज द टोटल लेबर फोर्स divided by the adult population into 100 this gives us the labor force participation as economist jab economics ki jab baat hoti hai to log aap se pooch sakte hain ki unemployment rate kaise nikalte hain labor force participation rate kya hota hai kaise nikala jata hai to unemployment rate nikalne ke liye just you remember ki it is the percentage of labor force who are unemployed ab wo kaise nikalenge kaise estimate karenge agar aap number of unemployed ko डिवाइड कर देते हैं विद द लेबर फोर्स और उसको 100 से मल्टीप्लाई कर दें तो दिस विल गिव यू अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट इन द इकॉनमी सिमिलरली लेबर फोर्स पार्टिसिपेशन रेट निकालने के लिए यू नीड टू नो द लेबर फोर्स ऑफ द इकॉनमी एंड द टोटल एडल्ट पॉपुलेशन तो इफ यू डिवाइड द लेबर फोर्स विद एडल्ट पॉपुलेशन एंड मल्टीप्लाई इट विद हंड्रेड this will give you the labor force participation rate and it is the percentage of the adult population that is in the labor force now question arises why is there unemployment rate 
क्यों वाई वी वाई डिफरेंट इकोनॉमीज वाई डिफरेंट इकोनॉमीज हैव अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट क्यों बेरोजगारी होती है क्या वजूहत हैं क्या रीजन्स हैं वट आर द फैक्टर्स बिहाइंड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट एज वी सेट दैट कि हर इकानमी में देर इज सम रेट ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट विच इज़ नोन एज द नेचुरल रेट ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट प्रवेल करता है इकानमी उसकी गद फ्लैक्चुएट करती है तो वाई इज देयर अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट क्या वजह है वाट आर द रीजन वाट आर द फैक्टर्स विच बेसिकली आर दी कॉज ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इन द इकानमी If we say that, for example, f is equal to one, then all spells of unemployment would be brief and natural rate would be near zero. If we say that, if f is equal to one, then we can say that all spells of unemployment would be brief and natural rate would be near zero. If we say that, if f is equal to one, then we can say that all spells of unemployment would be temporarily, will be for the short time, will be for the brief time period, and the natural rate would be near to zero. In this case, natural rate unemployment would be zero. So there are two reasons. Okay, why f is less than why it is not equal to one? Now there are two reasons. Two wajuhat hain. And agar ham ye jaise ki maine kaha ki agar f ek ke barabar hoga, to jo unemployment rate, uh, jo unemployed uh, ment hai economy mein, uska jo spell hai, wo brief hoga, thode se ke liye hoga, short span of time ke liye hoga, uh, or natural rate of unemployment us case mein zero hoga. But this in actually in real world in practical terms, uh, f जो है is less than one. S less than one होता है, एक से कम होता है. और उसकी क्या वजूहत हैं? उसकी दो reasons हैं. एक job search और and wage rigidity. Now people are unemployed due to searching jobs and job search is uh, is because of different uh, reasons. उसमें अभी हम बात करेंगे. और दूसरा जो factor है जिसकी बिना जो जो जिसकी वजह से हम कह सकते हैं कि एफ लेस देन वन होता है इट्स दी वे डिजिटी एज यू नो दैट एफ क्या है एफ बेसिकली इज द नंबर ऑफ पीपल हु फाइंड जॉब दे वर अनएम्प्लॉयड अगर जैसा कि मैंने कहा कि अगर एफ वन के बराबर होता है कि सब लोग जो अनएम्प्लॉयड हैं सबको नौकरियाँ मिल जाती हैं तो नेचुरल रेट ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट क्या होगा नेचुरली जीरो होगा जब सब लोग जो अनएम्प्लॉयड थे उनको नौकरियाँ मिल गई रोजगार मिल गया तो नेचुरल रेट वुड भी zero if f is equal to 1 it means all unemployment workers will be getting jobs sab logon ko rozgar mil jayega to jab sab ko rozgar mil jayega to natural rate would be zero in the economy but in real words in practical terms f jo hai ek ke barabar nahi hota it is always less than 1 now why it is less than 1 because of two reasons one is the job search the other is wage rigidity now we'll discuss all these two uh, these two reasons of unemployment in detail sabse pehle job search ki baat karte hain aur usme hum baat karenge frictional unemployment ki now what is frictional unemployment now frictional unemployment is the unemployment that is caused by the time it takes worker to search for a job now this is an un unemployment and it is because of the factor and the because of the factor that times it takes to the workers uh, for the workers to search for a job and it occurs even when wages are flexible and there are enough job to go around a uh, uh, go around in the economy so ye jo frictional unemployment hai ye even us waqt bhi mumkin hoti hai jab even wages are flexible or there are enough jobs in the economy bahut sari naukriyan bhi maujood hain lekin log jo hain kuch arse ke liye naukriyon ko dhoondte rehte hain they are searching for jobs or they remain unemployed for certain time period and uh, because what are the factors why people search different jobs and they remain unemployed for a certain time because number 1 workers have different abilities and uh, they are there are workers who have different qualifications they have different skills and of course when they have different qualifications uh, they have different skills uh, different trainings unhone liye hui hai they have Prefer, different preferences also. Sometime ये होता है कि जब उनकी education ज़्यादा है, उनकी skills ज़्यादा हैं, तो वो उनकी ख़ाश होती है कि उनको अच्छी job मिले, so they find a good job uh, where they can get good money and they can uh, live a good life. So because of this reason and they will remain unemployed. So abilities में फ़र्क की वजह से 
پریفرنس میں فرق کی وجہ سے دے سرچ دے کنٹینیو فار سرچنگ جاب دے ریمین ان امپلائڈ اینڈ دس سارٹ آف ان امپلائمنٹ از نون ایز دی فریکشنل ان امپلائمنٹ اینڈ ادر ریزن فار فریکشنل ان امپلائمنٹ کوڈ بی جاب ہیو ڈفرنٹ اسکل ریکوائرمنٹ تو سم ٹائمس اینڈ دی جاب ایڈورٹائز بائی دی جاب ایڈورٹائز بائی ڈفرنٹ ایجنسیز ڈفرنٹ آرگنائزیشنس ویدر دے آر پبلک اور پرائیویٹ and they have uh, different skill requirement for different positions ab jab different requirements hoti hain different skill requirements hoti hain to sometime the workers who are unemployed unki jo skills hain does not match with the required qualification of the organizations to jab skill match nahi hota education match nahi karti to log job search karte rehte hain aur they remain unemployed or this could be a one of the reason of uh, job search and remaining unemployed for a certain time period and geographical mobilities of workers not instantaneous now sometimes people move migrate from one place to other place and jab wo move karte hain to kuch arse ke liye wo unemployed rehte hain kuch arse ke liye wo naukri dhoondte hain wo jo arsa hota hai that in the, that is the time period when they remain unemployed usko hum فریکشنل ان امپلائمنٹ کا نام بھی دیتے ہیں دس کوڈ بی اندر ریزن دیٹ از دی جغرافیکل موبیلٹی اٹ کوڈ بی یہ موبیلٹی جو ہوتی ہے اٹ از بٹوین دا کنٹری آلسو فرام ون سٹی ٹو ادر سٹی اٹ از آلسو بٹوین ٹو کنٹریز آلسو تو جغرافیکل موبیلٹی جب کی وجہ سے جو کچھ لوگ ان امپلائڈ رہتے ہیں اس کو ہم فریکشنل ان امپلائڈ کا نام دیتے ہیں فلو آف انفارمیشن اباؤٹ ویکنسیز اینڈ جاب کینڈیڈیٹس از ام پرفیکٹ sometimes and uh, the most of the some companies does not advertise a uh, jobs in the newspaper they recruit people from internal candidates and sometime bahut sare ilakon mein jaise especially rural areas mein jahan pe job information ke itne resources nahi hote newspaper nahi hota television nahi hota what are these are the different sources of uh, jobs uh, finding right to job information jo hai job jo flow of information hai about the vacancies and about the job can, uh, candidates is imperfect is not complete to is wajah se bhi kuch log because they don't have complete information about the openings about the jobs in different organizations to unko andaza nahi hota kahan kahan pe naukriyan nikal rahi hain kahan pe jobs available hain to kuch arse ke liye is reason ki wajah se bhi log unemployed rehte hain aur usko hum frictional unemployment ka naam dete hain to frictional unemployment is the time is the, is the type of unemployment that is caused by the time it takes to workers by by, by the time it takes workers to find jobs for uh, so to search for a job so in that case the time period in the time period in which they remain unemployed this is known as the frictional so char wajuhat maine batayi frictional unemployment ki pehli kaun si hai workers have different skills preferences uski wajah se naukriyan dhoondte rehte hain apne required skill ke mutabik apni preference ke mutabik اپنی ابلٹیز کے مطابق اپنی ایجوکیشن کے مطابق اور دے ریمین ان امپلائڈ فار سرٹن ٹائم ورکرز ہیو ڈفرنٹ اسکل ریکوائرمنٹ جاب ہیو ڈفرنٹ اسکل ریکوائرمنٹ سو آرگنائزیشن وچ دے وین دے ایڈورٹائز جاب جابس ایز دیئر اسپیسیفک ریکوائرمنٹ فار ایچ کیٹیگری اور جب وچ ڈز ناٹ سم ٹائم میچ ود دی ورکرز کوالیفیکیشن اور اسکل تو اس طرح سے بھی لوگ ان امپلائڈ رہتے ہیں اور نوکریاں ڈھونڈتے رہتے ہیں جغرافیکل موبیلٹی کی وجہ سے بھی ورکرز نوکریاں ڈھونڈتے رہتے ہیں جاب تلاش کرتے رہتے ہیں اور جب موبیلٹی ہوتی ہے بٹوین دا سٹیز بٹوین دا کنٹریز تو اس وجہ سے بھی لوگ ان امپلائڈ رہتے ہیں فار سرٹن ٹائم پیریڈ نا لاسٹ جو ریزن میں نے بتائی فکشنل امپلائمنٹ کی دیٹ از دی فلو آف انفارمیشن اباؤٹ دا ویکنسیز اباؤٹ دا جاب کینڈیڈیٹ از امپرفیکٹ تو فلو آف انفارمیشن صحیح نہیں ہوتی مکمل نہیں ہوتی کمپلیٹ نہیں ہوتی اور جس کی وجہ سے لوگ نوکریاں ڈھونڈتے رہتے ہیں جاب سرچ کرتے رہتے ہیں اینڈ دے ریمین ان امپلائڈ فار اے سرٹن ٹائم پیریڈ تو دیز فور آر دی میجر ریزنس آف فکشنل ان امپلائمنٹ ان دا اکانمی and there is another reasons uh, of unemployment um, uh, is the sectoral shift or the uh, sectoral unemployment so it is uh, what is sectoral shift what we mean by that changes in the composition of demand among industries or regions so when there is a change in the 
امنگ دی سیکٹرز لائک اگر مینوفیکچرنگ سیکٹر پہ زیادہ کنسنٹریٹ کیا جا رہا تھا سو تو اگر اف یو اف دا انڈسٹری از کنسنٹریٹ ٹوورڈ دی ادر سیکٹر وچ از مینوفیکچرنگ سیکٹر دیٹ از دی ایگریکلچر سیکٹر آر دی سب سیکٹر تو سیکٹرل شفٹ کی وجہ سے جو چینج آتی ہے ان دا انڈسٹریز امنگ دا انڈسٹریز آر دا ریجنز تو ان دس کیس پیپل بیکم ان امپلائڈ رائٹ جب چینج آتی ہے کہ فوراً آپ مینوفیکچرنگ سے ایگریکلچر سیکٹر کی طرف جاتے ہیں یا مینوفیکچرنگ سے سروس سیکٹر کی جاتے ہیں یا دیر از اے چینج بٹوین دا ریجنس دیٹس کرول شفٹ از بٹوین دا انڈسٹریز آر بٹوین دا ریجنس تو ان دیٹ کیس پیپل ریمین ان امپلائڈ اور اس کو ہم سیکٹرل ان امپلائمنٹ اور سیکٹرل شفٹ کا نام دیتے ہیں آئی ول ٹرائی ٹو ایکسپلین this uh, sectoral shift uh, with the help of certain example like technological change increases the demand for computer repair repairs decreases the demand for typewriter repair so if there is a technological change in the organization in the in the in the industries or in the regions to so what will happen so the demand for the people who are computer literate who know computers ان کی ڈیمانڈ بڑھ جائے گی دی ول گیٹ جاب اینڈ دس ول ڈکریز دی ڈیمانڈ فار دوز پیپل ہو جسٹ نو ٹو ہاؤ ٹو یوز ٹائپ رائٹر ان دیئر ورک اور ہاؤ ٹو یوز ٹائپ رائٹر فار ڈفرینٹ کائنڈ آف اسائنمنٹس رائٹ اینڈ ادر ایگزامپل اے نیو انٹرنیشنل ٹریڈ ایگریمنٹ کاز از گریٹ ڈیمانڈ فار ورکرز ان دی ایکسپورٹ سیکٹرز سو سم کوئی ایگریمنٹ سائن ہوا ہے بٹوین دا ٹو کنٹریز اور بٹوین دا ملٹیپل کنٹریز اور اس کی وجہ سے دا ڈیمانڈ فار ورکرز ہو آر بیسیکلی ورکنگ ان دا ایکسپورٹ سیکٹر ان کی بڑھ گئی ہے رائٹ اینڈ لیس ڈیمانڈ فار ورکرز ان دی امپورٹ کمپیٹنگ سیکٹرز تو اس وجہ سے بھی سیکٹورل جو شفٹ آئی ہے کہ ان چیزوں کی ڈیمانڈ بڑھ گئی جو کہ ایکسپورٹ کی جا رہی ہیں تو وہاں پہ سو ڈیمانڈ فار ورکرز ان دی ایکسپورٹ سیکٹر ول گو آپ اینڈ ڈیمانڈ فار ورکرز ان دی امپورٹ سیکٹر ول گو down so this due to this sectoral change because of the trade agreement kuch log jo hai unemployment rahenge berozgar rahenge to isko hum sectoral unemployment ka naam dete it takes time for the workers to change sector so sectoral shift cause frictional unemployment so this is the frictional unemployment which is due to the change in the sectors of the economy and there are some other examples also like Uh, in late uh, 1800 decline of agriculture in the case of manufacturing to usme kya hua there was a big shift in the sectors between agriculture and manufacturing to uski wajah se kuch log unemployed rahe for a certain time period or that kind of unemployment is known as the frictional unemployment in late 90s ki baat jab hum karte hain to relative decline of manufacturing sector increase in service sector So there was a shift between the manufacturing and the service sector in the late 90s and specifically the work was moving from manufacturing to service sector. So uh, when they were moving between these two sectors, they, it, it takes time to find jobs in the service sector and they remain unemployed for a certain time period. And this is again a sectoral shift and such type of unemployment is known as the frictional unemployment. 1970 may energy crisis caused a shift in the demand away from huge gas gaslers towards small car, smaller cars right so because of an energy crisis ki wajah se jo sectoral shift aayi aur demand for workers mein change aayi usko bhi frictional unemployment ka naam dete in our dynamic economy smaller though still significant sectoral shift occurs frequently contributing to the frictional unemployment so agar hum badi economies ki baat na kare yahan pe فریکوینٹ چینج آتی ہے سیکٹرز میں سیکٹورل شفٹ آتی ہے ان اے سمال ڈائنامک اکانومی اور ان سمال ڈائنامک اکانومی دیر از آلسو پوسیبلٹی آف سیکٹورل شفٹس اینڈ دیٹ کین آلسو بیکم اے کاز آف فریکشنل ان امپلائمنٹ ان دا کنٹریز اور ان دا اکانومی ضروری نہیں ہے کہ بڑی اکانومیز ہوں بڑے ممالک ہوں اور وہاں پہ سیکٹرز میں چینج آتی رہتی ہے کہ دے موو فرام ون سیکٹر ٹو ادر سیکٹر اور وہاں پہ یہ ان امپلائمنٹ ہوتی ہے چھوٹی اکانومیز ایسی جو اکانومیز جو ڈائنامک ہوتی ہیں اچھی اکانومیز فارورڈ موونگ اکانومیز ہوتی ہیں وہاں پہ بھی سیکٹرز میں چینج آتی رہتی ہے وہاں پہ بھی سیکٹورل شفٹس ہوتی رہتی ہیں اور ان اکانومیز میں بھی یہ فکشنل ان امپلائمنٹ ہوتی رہتی ہے سو دس از ادر کاز سیکٹورل شفٹ 
is another cause of frictional unemployment rate and this is because of the change in composition of demand among industries or regions in the country or in the economy. Now public policy and job search. Now how government uh, can intervene or can reduce the time for job searching and can reduce or decrease the unemployment rate in the economy. How government can introduce or inter uh, intervene or introduce policies. Government program affecting unemployment rate like for example government employment agencies. So government employment agencies uh, can play a very important role in disseminating information about jobs uh, uh, openings to batch, uh, better match workers and jobs. So the government ki jo employment agencies hain, wo ek jo information flow, jaise ki humne ek reason humne discuss ki pichli slide mein, ki one of the reason of unemployment is the flow of information. And you have us may you have imperfect or the incomplete or the right or government agencies you have employment agencies special specifically who a role play cuts at me in disseminating in and 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 what your information could pal on a make role play cuts at the end get these are the vacancies these are the jobs you can look at the department's my availability is that I say who a better match markers اور جابز کی میں مددگار ثابت ہو سکتے ہیں دوسری جو چیز ہے دوسری جو پبلک پالیسی ہو کیا ہو سکتی ہے تو ریڈیوس آن ایمپلائیمنٹ اور دا ٹائم فر جاب سرچنگ ایس پبلک جاب ٹریننگ پروگرام سو گارمنٹ can introduce initiate different training programs uh, for the unskilled workers right for the least uh, skilled worker only training program introduce ka sakte jab wo work uh, helps the so jab wo worker train ho jate hain skilled ho jate hain to they can easily get jobs in different organization aur wo jo time period hai uh, jo job search karne ka time hai wo کم ہو جاتا ہے اور اسی طرح جب ٹائم فر جاب سرچنگ is ریڈیوس is ڈیکلائن تو ان ایمپلائیمنٹ ریٹ بھی اکانومی میں کم ہو جائے گا تو these are the two possible programs are the policies that government can adopt to reduce ان ایمپلائیمنٹ or reduce the time for job searching and reduce the ان ایمپلائیمنٹ in the economy وہ کون کون سی policies adopt کر سکتے ہیں one government agencies can disseminate information about different job different job openings or is there a stage of information flow out the hair logo but out there can hang on opening available and to better jo match workers or job hai us me mother mil sakti hai to better job making ki ja sakti hai public job training programs initiate government ka sakti hai logo training provide ka sakti hai skill provide ka sakti hai jis se logo ko nokri milne mein asani hoti hai aur jo time hai job search ka us mein kami waqe ho jati hai other other policy is the unemployment insurance unemployment insurance play a very important role of a worker farmer wage for a limited time after losing his her her job now UI unemployment insurance increases such in unemployment because it reduces the opportunity cost of being unemployed reduces the agency of finding work hence reduce F the longer a worker is eligible for UI the longer the duration of the average spell of unemployment now is a negative point here جب آپ انیمپلیمنٹ انشورنس دے دیتے ہیں جو لوگ وہ لوگ جو لوگ انیمپلیمنٹ ہیں ان کو ٹائملی گارمنٹ سپورٹ کرتی ہے فار سرٹن ٹائم پیریڈ تو ان میں جو جاب سرچ کرنے کا ٹائم پیریڈ ہے جو جس تو جو ہے جو خواہش ہے جو ڈیزائر ہے وہ اس میں اضافہ ہو جاتا ہے وہ جب زیادہ دیر کے لیے نوکری ڈھونڈتے ہیں تو جو سپیل آف آن ایمپلائیمنٹ میں اس میں بھی اضافہ ہو جاتا ہے وہ بھی ڈیوریشن میں سپیل آف آن ایمپلائیمنٹ کی ڈیوریشن میں بھی اضافہ ہو جاتا ہے بات ایڈ دی سیم ٹائم آن ایمپلائیمنٹ انشورنس کے بینیفٹس بھی ہیں لائک بائی لوئنگ ورکرز مور ٹائم ٹو سرچ یو می آن ایمپلائیمنٹ انشورنس می لیڈ ٹو بیٹر میچ میچ بیٹوین جابز اینڈ ورکرز تو جب لوگوں کو زیادہ ٹائم ملتا ہے مزینی سکون ہوتا ہے کہ کچھ نہ کچھ ان کو ہیلپ گارمنٹ سے مل رہی ہوتی ہے in the form of unemployment insurance کچھ نہ کچھ ان کو پیسے آ رہے ہوتے ہیں ٹائم گزارنے کے لیے تو وہ تھوڑا سا ٹائم زیادہ لگاتے ہیں نوکری ڈھونڈنے کے لیے جاب سرچ کرنے کے لیے اور اس طرح سے اپنی qualification کے مطابق اپنی skill کے مطابق وہ نوکری ڈھونڈ سکتے ہیں they can find jobs according to their ability they can find job according to their skills they can find job according to their education تو اس طرح سے وہ جو job matches ہیں جو better matches economy better matches ہو سکتے ہیں between jobs and workers which will lead 
लीड टू ग्रेटर प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड हायर इनकम इन द इकानमी तो अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इंश्योरेंस इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द पॉलिसीज वन वन ऑफ द स्टेप दैट गवर्नमेंट कैन टेक टू रिड्यूस द अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इन द इकानमी अब जैसा कि हमने कहा कि अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इंश्योरेंस के नुकसान भी हैं फायदे पे नुकसान क्या है कि जब अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इंश्योरेंस आप पे करते हैं लोगों को अनएम्प्लॉयड वर्कर्स को तो उनमें जो जॉब सर्च करने की डिजायर्स है ख्वाहिश है उसमें कमी वाक़ हो जाती है एंड दे टेक मोर टाइम टू सर्च जॉब्स एंड द स्पेल ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट जो है उसमें भी इजाफा हो जाता है बेनिफिट्स ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इंश्योरेंस क्या हो सकते हैं द बेनिफिट्स आर कि जब वर्कर्स आर गेटिंग अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इंश्योरेंस फ्राम द गवर्नमेंट सो दे गेट मोर टाइम लॉन्गर टाइम टू फाइंड जॉब्स इन दिस केस दे कैन फाइंड परफेक्ट मैच ऑफ जॉब अकॉर्डिंग टू दियर क्वालिफिकेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू दियर स्किल्स अपने एजुकेशन के मुताबिक नौकरी ढूंढ सकते हैं अपनी स्किल के मुताबिक नौकरी ढूंढ सकते हैं वट इज द बेनिफिट ऑफ दैट इफ पीपल गेट जॉब्स अकॉर्डिंग टू दियर एजुकेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू दियर स्किल्स अकॉर्डिंग टू दियर एबिलिटीज इन दिस वे दे कैन परफॉर्म वेल देर दे कैन हेल्प to produce more there can in, uh, in this way the productivity of the organization will increase and the income of the people or the organization will increase so economy grow karti hai aur unemployment mein kami waqe hoti hai so these are some of the policies uh, public policies jo ke government uh, adopt kar sakti hai aur job search ka jo time hai usme kami waqe kar sakti hai jaisa ki humne kaha ki government agencies uh, information फ्लो को जो है इंफॉर्मेशन जो फ्लो है उसको बेहतर बना सकती है ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम इंट्रोड्यूस कर सकते हैं और अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इंश्योरेंस की स्कीम्स जो है वो इंट्रोड्यूस की जा सकती हैं नॉ द सेकेंड रीजन ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट वाई बिकॉज वी आर डिस्कसिंग हम ये बात कर रहे हैं कि अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इकानमीज में क्यों होती है तो हमने पहली रीजन डिस्कस की अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज ड्यू टू जॉब सर्च लाइट द टाइम इट टेक्स to 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 the workers to find a good job तो जिस वो जो टाइम जॉब सर्च के लिए लगाते हैं उस ड्यूरेशन में वो लोग अनएम्प्लॉयड रहते हैं और बिकॉज ऑफ दैट रीजन हम कहते हैं कि देर इज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इन द इकानमी सेकेंड रीजन जिसकी हम बात करें दैट इज दिज रिजिटी वेज आर रिजिट डाउन वर्ड जब ऐसी सूरत हाल होती है तो अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इकानमी में प्रवेल करती है इफ यू लुक इन दिस डायग्राम ऑन वाई एक्सिस वी आर मयरिंग रियल वेज on x axis we are measuring labor demand for labor and supply of labor if you look at the uh, uh, jab bhi kabhi hum market ki baat karte hain to we need to discuss the supply and demand in terms of demand and supply to yahan pe since we are talking about the labor market so we need to discuss we need to introduce the labor supply curve and the demand for labor curve so as we know that the labor supply as uh, in, in the beginning we have assumed that the labor l is exogenously fixed are given so we have a vertical supply curve and we have a downward sloping demand curve because there is inverse relationship between the real wages and the demand for लेबर जैसे कि रेल वेजेस में इजाफा होता है तो डिमांड फॉर लेबर में कमी वाक्य होती है रेल वेजेस में कमी वाक्य होती है डिमांड फॉर लेबर में इजाफा हो जाता है नो द लेबर मार्केट विल बी इन एक्लिब्रियम एट द पॉइंट वेयर डिमांड फॉर लेबर इज इक्वल टू सप्लाई ऑफ लेबर आर वेयर द डिमांड ऑफ लेबर कर्व इज इंटरसेक्टिंग द सप्लाई ऑफ लेबर कर्व सो दैट इज द इक्लिब्रियम दिस इज द दिस इज द इक्लिब्रियम वेज रेट दिस इज द इक्लिब्रियम क्वांटिटी ऑफ डिमांड फॉर लेबर एंड सप्लाई ऑफ लेबर बट होता क्या है हमने जैसे कि कहा कि वेजेस आर रिजिड डाउनवर्ड देयर इज वेज रिजिडिटी साइट सो इफ द वेज रिजिडिटी इज ऑलवेज अबव देन द इक्लिब्रियम वेज रेट इक्लिब्रियम वेज कहां पे जहां पे दोनों कर्व ये आपस में इंटरसेक्ट करें सप्लाई और डिमांड जहां पे इंटरसेक्ट करें दैट इज द इक्लिब्रियम रियल वेज एंड इक्लिब्रियम क्वांटिटी डिमांड एंड सप्लाई बट इन फैक्ट वेजेस आर रिजिड डाउनवर्ड सो व्हेन वी से दैट सो एक्चुअल वेजेस आर अबव देन द इक्लिब्रियम वेज रेट सो इफ वी हैव अ रियल रेज रिजिडिटी एंड दैट इज अबव देन द इक्लिब्रियम तो वहां पे क्या सूरत हाल है सो डिमांड इज लेस सप्लाई इज मोर तो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिमांड एंड सप्लाई इज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट Uh, and this is because of the uh, rigidity of wages so if the real wages are rigid are stuck above the equilibrium level then there are not enough job to go around right so there will be unemployment in the economy so this graph 
بیسیکلی ہمیں کیا بتاتا ہے کہ ویجز آر ریجڈ ڈاؤن ورڈ ویجز آر آلویز اباو دین دی اکلیبریم ویج سو وین دس از دی سچویشن تو اکانومی میں ہمیشہ ان امپلائمنٹ رہتی ہے اینڈ پیپل آر سرچنگ جابس دے ریمین ان امپلائمنٹ ان امپلائڈ ڈیو ٹو دس ویج ریجڈٹی نو ریزنس کیا ہیں وائی ویجز آر ریجڈ ڈاؤن ورڈ کیوں ہوتی ہیں نیچے کیوں نہیں آتی کیا وجوہات ہیں ویج ریجڈٹی کی نمبر ون مینیمم ویج لاز نمبر ٹو لیبر یونینز نمبر تھری ایفیشنسی ویجز نو وی ایکسپلین آل دیز ون بائی ون مینیمم ویج لاز کی وجہ سے دس از ون آف دی ریزن آف ویج ریجڈٹی دا مینیمم ویج از ویل بلو دی کلیبریم ویج فار دا موسٹ ورکر سو اٹ کین ناٹ ایکسپلین دا میجورٹی آف دا نیچرل ریٹ آف ان امپلائمنٹ ریٹ ہاو ایور دا مینیمم ویج میں ایکسیڈ دی کلیبریم ویج ریٹ آف انسکیل ورکر سپیشلی ٹین ایجز سو ایف سو دن وڈ وی ایکسپیکٹ وی وڈ ایکسپیکٹ دیٹ انکریز ان مینیمم ویج وڈ انکریز ان امپلائمنٹ امانگ دیز گروپس رائٹ سو دیر آر مینیمم ویج لاز دیر آر یونینز سو دیر آر دا ویج از فکس بائی دا گارمنٹ آف ڈیفرنٹ کنٹریز ایف یو ریمیمبر دیٹ پاکستان میں جو مینیمم ویج ہے کتنی ہے سات ہزار روپے فکس کی گئی ہے سیون تھاؤزن روپیز اور سکس تھاؤزن روپیز اس دا مینیمم ویج دیٹ نیڈ ٹو بی پیئر ٹو دا ورکرز رائٹ سو دیٹ از آلویز اباو دین اکلیبریم ویج ریٹ سو جب ایسی صورتحال ہوتی ہے جب لاز ہوتے ہیں کہ ایک ویج کو ایک لیول پر فکس کیا جاتا ہے تو اس مینیمم ویج کی وجہ سے ویج از آلویز اباو دین اکلیبریم ویج ریٹ تو ان دیٹ کیس دیر از آن امپلائیمنٹ اور ویج از آریجٹ ڈاؤن ورڈ سیکنڈ لیبر یونینز کی جب ہم بات کرتے ہیں ان ڈیفرنٹ آرگنیزیشن ڈیفرنٹ کنٹریز دیر آر ڈیفرنٹ یونینز آویلیبل یونین ایکسرسائز مناپلی پاورز ٹو سکیور ہائر ویجز فار دیر میمبرز یو نو دیٹ جیسا کہ آپ کو اندازہ ہوگا ان ایوری آرگنیزیشن ان پاکستان دیر آر ٹریڈ یونینز دیر آر یونینز اب وہ کیا کرتے ہیں دی آل ویز فائٹ for the raise of salaries, for the raise of wages of their workers and which in that case they try to fix those wages above than the equilibrium wage rate. And so this could be one of the cause of wage rigidity. Now when the wage, uh, when the union wage exceed the equilibrium wage rate, then what will happen? Jab aap ki jo union wage hai, which is above than the equilibrium wage rate, naturally there will be unemployment rate. Employed union workers are insider whose interest is to keep wages high. So most of the time, in unions ki jo employees hote hain, they are from the organizations, they are uh, from that particular organization, aur unka interest hota hai, aur wo ye koshish karte hain, ki wages uh, ziyada se ziyada rahe. So, uh, unemployed uh, non-union workers are outsider and would prefer wages to be lower. And sometimes, jo unemployed log hote hain, jo members hote hain unions ka, وہ کوشش کرتے ہیں کہ ویجز کم رہیں تاکہ ان کو نوکریاں مل سکیں اور وہ لوگ جاب حاصل کر سکیں سو بیکاز آف دا لیبر یونینز بیکاز آف دا یونینز ویجز آر ٹریجڈ ڈاؤن ورڈ اور ان یونینز کی کوشش ہوتی ہے کہ ویجز کو اوپر کی طرف رکھا جائے اکلیبریم سے زیادہ رکھا جائے اور جب ویجز اباو ہوتی ہے اکلیبریم ویج سے تو نیچرلی دیر ویل بی ان امپلائمنٹ ان دا اکانومی تو دس از لیبر یونین از ادر کاز آف دی ویج ریجڈیٹی Third is efficiency wages. Uh, wages are uh, uh, basically um, sometimes uh, government, uh, agna, some organization want to give higher wages in order to motivate their workers to utilize their expertise, to utilize their maximum abilities to produce goods and services. So efficiency wages ka jo concept hai, is ki wajan se bhi یہ جو ہے ویجز آر ریجڈ آرگنیزیشن کوشش کرتی ہیں کہ ویجز زیادہ سے زیادہ رکھی جائیں تاکہ لوگوں کو جب ان کے ریوارڈ زیادہ ملے گا ویجز زیادہ ملیں گی تو وہ موٹیویٹ ہوں گے جب موٹیویٹ ہوں گے تو میکسیمم ایفٹس لگائیں گے ان دی پروڈکشن پروسیس پروڈکشن جب زیادہ ہوگی پروڈکٹیوٹی زیادہ ہوگی آرگنیزیشن کا پروفٹ زیادہ ہوگا اور انکم بڑھے گی تو ایفیشنسی ویجز کا جو کانسیپٹ ہے That is also one of the cause of wage rigidity. So there are three reasons of wage rigidity. And as we have said that wage rigidity is because of unemployment in the economy. Wages are rigid downward. They are always above than the equilibrium wage rate. When they are above the equilibrium wage rate, demand is less, the supply is more, and naturally there is a certain level of unemployment. Now, 
ہم نے یہ ڈسکس کیا کہ تین وجوہات ہو سکتی ہیں ویج ریڈیٹی کی نمبر ون مینیمم ویج لاز کی وجہ سے ویجز ریڈیٹ ہوتی ہیں نمبر ٹو لیبر یونینز کی وجہ سے ویجز ریڈیٹ ہوتی ہیں اور نمبر تھری جو ریزن ہم نے تھرڈ ریزن جو ہم نے ڈسکس کی دیٹ از بیکاز آف دی ایفیشنسی ویجز ایفیشنسی ویجز کین بیکم اے کاز آف ویج ریڈیٹی ان دا اکانومیز ان دا کنٹریز نا جسٹ ٹو سی جسٹ اف یو لوک ایٹ دس ٹیبل In the first column, we have number of weeks uh, unemployed, uh, number of week unemployed person uh, as a percentage of total unemployed, and amount of time these workers spent unemployed as a percentage of total time uh, all workers spent unemployed. This is third column. So one to four weeks, 39 percent, 6.5 percent people. Uh, for five to 14 weeks. Uh, and then 31 percent of the unemployed person are the percentage of total unemployed and then 20.5 percent is the amount of time these workers spent on uh, spent unemployed as a percentage of total time uh, of all workers spent on the unemployed uh, of the all unemployed workers 15 and more weeks is 30 percent and 73 percent of the people uh, they spend their time so if you look in this table Uh, most of the spell of unemployment are short term, then the medium term or the long term. Yet, most of the actual total time spent unemployed is attributed to the long term, uh, long term unemployed category. So, 73% of uh, your time spent unemployed ka is, attribut at, is attributable or is associated with the long term unemployed people. So, this long term unemployment is probably structural or due to structural shift. among uh, vastly different industries so this ye jo uh, maximum time lagta hai long term jo long term uh, zyada time log lagate hain naukriyan dhoondhne ke liye wo un uh, un industries mein hota hai jahan pe structural change aati hai ya structural shift aati hai to wahan pe jo hai normally in that case when there is structural change in the economy uh, structural changes between the industries or structural shift in the economy to un halat mein zyada time lagana padta hai logon ko naukri dhoondhne ke liye they have to spend more time to find unemployed uh, to find employment in the economy knowing this is important because it can help us to to design policies that are more likely to succeed right so this basically table help us to design policies to reduce unemployment in the economy is me aapko andaza hota hai ki kaun se log hain kitne percent log hain jo ki commerce ke liye short term ke liye unemployed rehte hain kitne percent log hain jo ki medium term ke liye unemployed rehte hain kitne percent log hain jo ki long term ke liye unemployed rehte hain and how much time each of the category how much of the time they will take to find jobs to get jobs kitna time chahiye inko naukriyan dhoondhne ke liye so this table basically gives you an idea to design to craft a policy uh, to reduce unemployment in the economy so students this is all about uh, the unemployment or about the today's lecture i just briefly recap so what we have learned today uh, the natural first of all we will learn we have learned that what is natural rate of unemployment as we said that it is the rate uh, around which the economy fluctuates and this is the rate which always prevails in the economy or uh, in case of boom uh, net actual rate is uh, uh, below than the natural rate or in case of recession actual rate is above than the natural rate so the long run average or the steady state rate of unemployment is known as the natural rate of unemployment rate it depends on uh, the rate of job separation and job finding so is mein yahan pe humne do terms introduce ki thi one is the jo, uh, rate of job separation which is uh, used uh, which is denoted by s and job finding by f right to natural rate jo hai depend karta hai ki how many people are getting separated from jobs how many people are finding jobs in a particular time period to this determines the actual or the natural rate of unemployment in the economy uske baad humne baat ki ke how the unemployment is measured uh, so we have uh, discussed the formula it is equal to the unemployed over total uh, labor force into 
سو دس ول گیو اس دی ان امپلائمنٹ ریٹ ان دی اکانومی ہم نے جیسا کہ کہا کہ نیچرل ریٹ ایسا ان امپلائمنٹ ریٹ ہے جو کہ ہر وقت اکانومی میں رہتا ہے نو دی نیکسٹ کویشچن ارائزز وائی از دیر ان امپلائمنٹ ریٹ اور اس کے لیے ہم نے دو وجوہات کی بات کی دیر ٹو ریزنز ٹو بیکیم اور ٹو ریمین ان امپلائیڈ ون از دی جاب سرچ دی ادر از ویج ریجیڈیٹی جاب سرچ کی جب ہم نے بات کی تو اس میں ہم نے فرکشنل آن امپلائیمنٹ کی بات کی اس نے ہم نے سٹرکچرل آن امپلائیمنٹ کی بات کی کہ جاب سرچ کی وجہ سے جو آن امپلائیمنٹ ہوتی ہے that is known as the فرکشنل آن امپلائیمنٹ اور سٹرکچرل آن امپلائیمنٹ now what is فرکشنل آن امپلائیمنٹ it is the آن امپلائیمنٹ that is due to the time it takes to match workers with jobs and it may be in increased by unemployment insurance uh, then there is a other uh, form of unemployment which is the structural unemployment that result from wage rigidity the real wage remains above than the equilibrium level and causes minimum wage and what are the causes what are the reason of wage rigidity downward uh, and this is because of the minimum wage laws and the labor unions and the efficiency wages so this is all about student to so, aaj humne baat ki aaj ke lecture mein humne kya sikha aaj ke lecture humne sikha ki unemployment kya cheez hoti hai and natural rate of unemployment kya hai different categories kya ho sakti hain population ki jisme humne kaha ke ek labor categories hoti hai ek unemployed labor employed labor category hoti employed category hoti hai unemployed hoti hai aur teesri not in the labor force uske baad humne baat ki ki unemployment ko kaise mayar kiya ja sakta hai اس کے بعد ہم نے یہ بھی دیکھا آج کہ وائی از دیئر ان امپلائمنٹ وائی اکانومیز ہیو ان امپلائمنٹ تو اس میں ہم نے ڈفرنٹ وجوہات کی بات کی اور ہم نے ڈفرنٹ ٹائپس آف ان امپلائمنٹ کی بات کی اور فائنلی ہم نے یہ کہا کہ گورنمنٹ جو ہے ہاؤ گورنمنٹ کین کنٹرول یوز اڈاپٹ ڈفرنٹ پالیسیز ٹو کنٹرول ان امپلائمنٹ ان دا اکانومی تو گورنمنٹ کو اپنے پالیسیز اڈاپٹ کرنے چاہیے تاکہ جاب سرچ کا جو ٹائم ہے کم سے کم ہو ویجز اتنی زیادہ ریجیڈ نہ ہوں سو دیٹ ان امپلائمنٹ کین بی ریڈیوس ان دا اکانومی تو دس از آل اباؤٹ اسٹوڈنٹ ٹو دے آج کا لیکچر یہاں پہ ختم کرتے ہیں گاڈ بلیس یو گاڈ بلیس اس تھینک یو سو مچ ٹل دا نیکسٹ ٹائم سی یو اللہ حافظ